For this video, I will upscale and restore this low resolution photo. Again, with the use of Photoshop and Automatic 1111. To start, I will use Photo Restoration from the Neural Filters panel to clean and enhance the photo a bit. I will not use Face Restoration and since the photo has no scratches, I will barely use the scratch removal slider at this stage. The changes will be made in a new layer. Normally at this stage, I would check the layers and clean the photo, but there is not a lot of information here to check. I will not use face restoration, and since the photo has no scratches, I will not bother a lot with cleaning at this stage. I will use Photoshop's Super Zoom, which can be found in the neural filters, to upscale it four times since this is a very low resolution photo. While using the Super Zoom, I will enable enhanced image details and remove JPEG artifacts that will improve the photo, but smoothen it a bit and choose to output the edits in a new document and press OK. This will create new higher resolution documents four times larger than our starting photo. In this new document, I will again run the photo restoration, but this time I will use face enhancement since the software has more information to work with. Previewing the output though, I decided to clean a bit more. Some spots before running the face restoration process, so I cancelled the photo restoration. After some more cleaning, I will try the process again. The cleaner the face, the better the resulting face enhancement output. I am reducing the opacity of the new layer that was produced to tone down the changes. What I am after at this stage is a better source image to run the image to image process in the next phase. So I am saving this upscaled, restored document as a PSD file and quick exporting it as a PNG file. This will create a folder in the path where I saved my PSD file and created the PNG there. This will speed up the process of my exports when I make changes in Photoshop and I want to go back for another image to image generation. So here is the PSD file named X2 and here is the folder that Quick Export has created. I am adding this PNG file as the source file in the image to image tab of the automatic 1111 and as a first step I will generate a positive prompt for the image generation. To do so I press the interrogate image using clip model and fine-tune the generated text to make a more suitable prompt. This will guide the image generation and it becomes more important as we raise the denoising strength of the generation. I am using the LCM LoRa which will generate the images in fewer steps and faster. For the LCM generation, I am using the LCM sampling method, 8 sampling steps and a 1.5 CFG scale. The output resolution will match the resolution of the exported image from Photoshop. With higher values, I am hoping to generate parts that will clean the noisy, non-essential areas of the photo and with lower values to get images that relate more to the source that will aid me in cleaning and fixing the facial characteristics and other essential parts of the photo without altering them much. For the negative prompt, I am using the word hat to hopefully prevent the generation from creating a hat since the low resolution and blurry and dark with no details, it might confuse the model. To start, I will generate two images, one with lower denoising strength and the other with a bit more. The low value was around 0.2 and the higher was around 0.4. I am saving the output images into a TMP folder if I find that they will help with the restoration. The two output images will be added as layers in Photoshop and I will add an inverted mask to hide each of them. With a low flow brush, I will start revealing the parts of the photo that I want to alter. For the non-essential parts, I might use a large brush size, but for the facial characteristics, I will reduce the size. Maybe reduce even more the flow, and be more careful in general. With photos like this, where the information to start with is limited because of the low resolution and the noisy details, it is easy to alter significantly the face or other details.
When I'm satisfied with this cleaning pass, I will again quick export to PNG and go over to Automatic 11.11 and use this new improved version for a new image to image generation. Same drill as the first step. I have found that being patient and making more steps is producing final images that tend to represent better the source photo. So again and again I will do the same thing. I haven't recorded all the cycles but I believe for this photo was around 8 to 10. When done with the cycles of Photoshop to Automatic 11.11 and back again, I will do one more photo restoration with face enhancement in Photoshop to clean up the face a bit more. Going slowly does not mean, of course, that the result will be perfect. After all, we are producing data about a real person without knowing exactly how it should have been if the photo was clearer and a higher resolution one. In this case, I realized that I made an obvious mistake with his left ear that I saw when I was making the last edits, making it longer than the other, and by comparing it to the source photo, it is clear that it was not accurate. So, this is the final image after doing the edit in the ear compared to the starting photo. If I wanted to go further and upscale it even more, and add even more details, now it is easier since we have a much better image to work with. However, I will stop here.